Before God, I entered into a covenant to provide prayer for you every day from now until Jesus comes. You'll never be without prayer again. Take advantage of it. Welcome to Morning Prayer. Well, good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer here on Victory. My name is Katherine Hanley, and I am so excited to join with you wherever you're watching, whether it's from your car, from your living room, from your desk at work, wherever you are this morning, we are excited and honored to be able to partner with you today in prayer concerning what you're believing God for. And thank God I don't have to do it alone. I am here with my wonderful, handsome husband, Holden. How good are you? Good morning. How are you? Good, good, good. I'm excited for today. And we also, in the Isle of the Tiger, we have the one and only Kurt Shellstrom. Good morning, Kurt. Good How morning. are you? Good morning, everybody. It's great to be with you today. It is going to be a great morning of prayer. And we're excited to connect our faith with you this morning. And we want to encourage you to call us at 877-281-6297. And of course, all of you that are joining us right now on the Victory Channel Facebook page, put your prayer requests in there so we can come in agreement with you this morning. Back to you, Catherine. Well, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. And you know, something that the Lord was just reminding me of to this, this morning as I was kind of preparing for the program was something that Brother Oral Roberts used to say, and that is expect a miracle. Um, I want you to just not just watch and not just be an observer of what we do here, because this can, you know, you can get into a rut of just watching and not participating, but I want to challenge you and encourage you to use your faith today, to join your faith, even if you're not the one calling in, join your faith with those who are no. and pray with us. Don't just watch us pray, but pray with us. You know, I said on our, uh, our, we went live on Facebook right before we began the program. And I said, you know, it's the difference between being a fan and a follower. You know, we don't want just people watching and observing. We don't want fans, but we want participators in the kingdom work that that God is doing. So I want to encourage you, get your faith up this morning. Expect a miracle today Amen. in your life, in the lives of other people. Something else Oral Roberts used to say all the time was that, uh, you know, he talked about a point of contact. And I want this phone call this morning with you, with you calling in with your testimonies, with your prayer requests to be your point of contact today to see a miracle of God in your life. And so I want to remind you again, that number is 877-281-6297. And we already have prayer requests coming wow. in, which is awesome. So I want to encourage you call in. And uh, I want to start off the morning by actually reading a testimony. This is from Lisa in Peachtree City. Uh, her, she testified that her son has now graduated graduated with a partial scholarship. So Lisa, Praise we are rejoicing Lord. with you. She also asked for prayer for a full-time job and financial breakthrough. So Father Lord, right now we thank you that you are a God of prosperity. And I thank you that you are bringing a full-time job, the right job with the right people at the right time, doing the right thing into Lisa's life. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for that financial breakthrough that's coming in Jesus' name. Hold on, I know you've got some too. I do. I have John from Hohenwall. Uh, his wife, Vicki, fell and she broke some bones and she's believing God for wholeness. You know, the Bible talks about how he makes our bones fat. What does that mean? He makes them healthy. He makes mm -hmm. them whole. So we're believing God, John, that your wife's bones are totally and completely healed, restored and made whole. And any repercussions are gone in the name of Jesus. I have Francis from Bramham, uh, believing God for the restoration of son's brain from a traumatic injury. In the name of Jesus, Francis, we come into agreement with you concerning your son's brain and he has the mind of Christ. Right. And according to uh, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, he has not given you or him the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and a sound mind in Jesus' name. I have Pam from Cheyenne, believe in God for her, husband's to her husband to return to God and debt freedom. And he is going to return to God in the name of Jesus. And every need that you have is going to be met according to his riches and glory. I have Amelia from Shamrock, Texas, believe in God for healing in legs from heaviness and whatever is the root of the issue. You know, we talked about old Roberts already. Brother Roberts used to say in every situation, there's a key issue. Yeah. And I'm believing God that he is going to reveal wisdom, give you wisdom of what the key issue that's causing these legs to be heavy. So we're believing God for wisdom and this heaviness to subside in Jesus Amen. name. Avlo is from Kingsville. His son, her, her son-in-law, Andrew, passed the test and received a job. Praise the Lord. We're rejoicing with you for that. And we give God all the glory and praise that he is where he needs to be. And then I have Mike from uh, Missouri, believing God for supernatural debt 
cancellation. We're in agreement Amen. with you right now. The Bible says, oh, no man, anything but to love them. You're blessed and the blessing causes us to lend and not borrow. So Mike, we're in agreement with you right now in Jesus' name. Glory to God, glory to God. You know, Holden, something that I love about this program is we're able to stand not just on what sounds good, but on the word of God, on Amen. the truth of his word. And you know, the book of Jeremiah says that God is watching over his word to perform it. So the Lord, I just, I get this picture of him just so ready. He's got angels just so ready to manifest in your life. All you have to do is say the word and believe. The book of Mark says that all you have to do is believe and then nothing is impossible to him that believes. So believe that he's gonna do it in your life. We're gonna go over to Kurt right now and see what's going on in the aisle. Uh, thank you so much, Catherine. You know, I love our Victory Channel Facebook community that join us every single morning. Uh, you, you know, you said something than Catherine just a little bit ago, you know, and I say it this way, don't be a spectator, be a participator. And so even though you're not here with us, you're there watching us. I see you right here on the Facebook app, right on my phone. And we appreciate you joining with us every single morning and sharing this. Maybe you have a friend or loved one that needs a word of encouragement. Maybe they need their faith built up this morning. You can simply push that share button and share it with a friend or loved one and let this be a blessing to them. And again, we want to encourage you to call us 877 877- Seven two eight one six two nine seven. 281 Catherine, I got a praise report here. Tracy from Walnut Grove, Mississippi called in. A partner, uh, Tracy received prayer for herself and her husband after battling COVID-19, positive testing. Allison prayed for them and returned back to work June 1st, praise God. Also, we have Sandra called in from Burlington, North Carolina. She's asked for prayer for protection for her family. Uh, Veronica called in and she needs uh, her joy back. The joy of the Lord is yours, Veronica, and we speak that over you this morning, whatever you're going through. Roberta from West Virginia called in, asked for prayer for her friend for salvation and deliverance. And Tina from Wisconsin asked for prayer for healing from stroke for her friend Renee. And so we come in agreement with you this morning. And I want to have you do something. I do this every time I'm on the program, but I want you to put in the chat this morning. And, and, and I say this all the time. Uh, and so sometimes it sounds like a broken record, but our words matter. Yeah. And I want you to put that because Catherine said it, but I want you to type it in as just as an act of faith, act of agreement. I expect my miracle. So put that in the chat here on Facebook. I see you on here and uh, I want you to put that in. I, whatever you're believing God for this morning, I expect my miracle. Look forward to talking to you on Facebook or via the phone. Catherine, back yes, to you. Amen. I expect my miracle. Amen. You know, I'm reminded of something Brother Copeland has been talking about a lot recently. He talked about it in our victory campaign we just had. Um, but he's been talking about the woman with the issue of blood in Mark chapter 5. And she said it to herself, if I could only touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. And he says that those are the four steps to receiving anything from God. You have to say it. You have to do it you have to receive it, and then you have to testify about it. And that's what that woman did. She went out there fully expecting to be made whole. And so we want you to be fully expecting this morning that whatever your need is, God is meeting your needs, not according to what you think, not according to just what you can come up with in your own mind, but according to His riches and glory, which are exceedingly, abundantly beyond all that you could ever think, hope, or imagine. And I want you to be encouraged by that this morning. I have Cinda from Des Moines, she's believing for for her brother to have healing in his brain, uh, deliverance from a drug addiction and salvation. So Father, Lord, right now, we lift up Cinda's brother to you. God, I thank you, Lord, that you are a God of mighty deliverance. You are mighty to save. And so Father, I thank you that the hounds of heaven is going after him right now in Jesus' name, that you're sending laborers across his path, Father, that he will be saved, that he will be delivered, that he will be healed, Father, and that he will testify of the goodness of our God. I have Colleen from Martinburg. Uh, her dog was injured. You know, you know, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 says that your livestock is blessed. So Colleen, we are believing with you that your dog, the Lord will heal your dog and he will be restored and uh, bring you joy that, 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 that he's been designed to do. I have Anita from Chester believing for healing. She doesn't specify what, but Anita, we are believing with you for healing from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. We know that by the stripes of Jesus, you have been healed. Faith from Broken Arrow wants to get married again. You know, the word of God says that, that marriage is his design, that it's a good thing. And what, what God has brought together, no man should separate. So we're believing with you, Faith. We set our faith in agreement with you for that husband in the name of Jesus, a godly husband, a husband where your callings come into 
alignment and you're better together than you are on your own. I have Janice from Sparks, believing for healing of her lungs and real estate issues. Uh, you know, prosperity is ours. Prosperity is part of the blessing. Favor is part of the blessing. Healing is part of the blessing. So Janice, you walk in the blessing because you are a child of the Most High God and we're believing with you this morning. Yes. And I have one more hold in here and then we'll go to yours. I have Misty from Arkansas, uh, believing for healing from a, bla a brain injury and blood sugar for someone she takes care of. You know, I'm reminded, Misty, of the word of God, which says, pray for others that you might be healed. Mm -hmm. So when we pray for other people, that same healing power that we're believing for that person will actually come on us. And Misty, I'm believing that that's gonna be a reality in your life, that as you pray and believe for that person that you're taking care of, that that healing will also come on you as well in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. Hold in. Amen, thank you, Catherine. I have Helen from Carrollsville believe in God. Her daughter could use peace. Right now, we're in agreement that Jesus, who is the the Prince of Peace is manifesting himself to your daughter right now in Jesus name, Helen. I have Veronica from Pittsburgh, believe in God to increase in finances and in healing. You know, the Bible says in Psalm 116 that he causes us to increase more and more. And we're believing for that for you, Veronica, in the name of Jesus. I have Tisha, uh, believe in God for healing of skin issues. He says that he heals all of our sicknesses and heals all of our diseases in the name of Jesus. You know, I wanna encourage you guys, call 877 281-6297. And as you're watching, the prayer requests just keep coming in. Amen. Remember, expect a miracle. We don't serve a God in heaven who just hears and that's all he does. But we serve a God in heaven who hears and who desires to answer our prayers. So we are expecting that every prayer we pray on the basis of the word to come to pass that's today right. in Jesus' name. And speaking name. of that, this is a testimony from today. You know, we Praise talk all the God. time about how these are testimonies waiting to happen. And oftentimes, you know, it's just a matter of days or a week later that we hear back from many of you who call in saying that your miracle manifested. But this is from Dorothy in Gastonia. And this is from a prayer request that she called in with today. And she's already received her testimony wow. this morning. She said that she called in earlier for prayer, for healing this morning, and she had pain in her kidneys and now the pain is gone. Immediately. God is a God of suddenlies. He's the God of immediatelies. Praise Expect God. your miracle in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because Jesus has already done it it all. He's already paid it all for you. He did it 2,000 years ago. He took care of your financial problems 2,000 years ago. He took care of your sickness 2,000 years ago. He took care of your lack 2,000 years ago. And I want you to watch this clip as Brother Copeland talks about that, how he talks about we are already healed and prosperous because of everything that Jesus did at, did at Calvary. Watch this and we'll be right back. Because in the heart and mind of God, the moment Jesus was raised from the dead, Satan was done. The moment he was raised from the dead, amen. For as God was concerned, uh, you're healed because he has provided everything you need to be healed. Glory to God. As far as he's concerned, your, your debts are a thing of the past because he's provided everything it takes for you to prosper beyond your wildest dream. Well, glory to God, everything, everything. that Jesus paid for has already Amen. been done for you. All you have to do is receive it. Amen. 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 Well, I want to go to Kurt really quick. He's over in the aisle. Kurt, can you tell us what that atmosphere is like over there? Absolutely, Catherine. You know, I love that saying by Brother Copeland. He's provided everything. You know, so many times, you know, we need to hear that. You know, whatever you're going through right now, whether it be cancer, leukemia, or your prodigal son's daughter's away from the Lord, he has provided everything everything for you. Say that out loud in your office, in your car, in your home. He has provided everything for me. Uh, this morning, uh, Norma uh, put in our chat this morning, pray for our eyes. Cindy uh, put in there, Dylan, uh, he's 25 years old, uh, just typed in, says he needs healing from cancer this morning. Welcome Malaysia, welcome California, welcome Florida. Uh, all of you that are joining us on the Victory Channel Facebook page this morning, welcome to all of you. So glad that you've tuned in and share this with a friend or a loved one this morning and so we can build their faith. Also Christy from Florida, uh, called in, needs complete healing from bladder, kidneys, abdomen. I want to encourage you, if you have not watched the Billy Burke uh, program that was on Tuesday, you need to do 
that. Uh, thousands upon thousands of people have viewed that. And I know it will stir your faith. And so if you have a friend or loved one that needs a healing, we want to encourage you to watch that. It's on the KCM and Victor Channel Facebook pages. Uh, New Mexico called in blessing over a dental appointment today. Uh, we'll pray for that. Yvonne from Greenwood Healing and Wellness and a financial breakthrough. We speak breakthrough right now, Yvonne, over you. Whatever that is, if it's for a home or financial or debt cancellation, whatever it may be, we speak breakthrough over that this morning. Debbie uh, called in healing for a good report from the doctor. She's going to the doctor this morning. And so we pray peace over you this morning in Jesus name. Back to you guys. Well, glory to God. Again, that number 877-281-6297. Let your call this morning be a point of contact for you for what you're believing God for. Don't just observe, don't just spectate, but participate today. And I believe you're going to see breakthrough in your life. I have Linda here from Fleming Island. She said she's believing for healing. So Linda, we call you healed in Jesus name. I have Charles from Osakis. Uh, believing for healing for Charles and Dorothy, arthritis, uh, healing in ear and spine. So we call that ear healed. We call that spine healed. We say that arthritis is a name that's under the name of Jesus. And you are walking in that complete and total healing. Nothing missing, nothing broken in Jesus name. I have Sharon from Bellington. She's got pain on the right side of her ribs. Uh, her legs are aching and she has hip pain. So Sharon, I want you where, wherever you're watching right now, I just want you to lay hands on your ribs, on your leg, on your hip. And I want you to just begin to speak it out of your mouth. Kurt said it already this morning. Your words matter. Your words have power. Your words create your world. And so I want you to begin to speak out that you are healed, that you are the righteousness of Christ, that you walk in the blessing, that the enemy doesn't have the authority to put that pain on you. And I believe you're going to begin to see healing manifest in your life. And I want you to call us and testify. Tell us about how the Lord has healed your body. I have Alan from from Warner Robbins, believing for e healing. Alan, you're healed in the name of Jesus. Mary from Douglasville, Georgia, believing for he uh, healing for Mary and Ralph. So we say that Mary and Ralph are healed. I have one more here from Sherilyn in Long Beach, believing for peace. Let me tell you something. The word says that a mind governed by the spirit is life and peace. And so we are believing that you are governed by the Holy Spirit because greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. So Sherilyn, we're believing that you have the peace of God today in the midst of any storm, in the midst of any trial, you have that divine peace from heaven amen. in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. I have a testimony and a prayer request with this one. Monica from Belleville. Uh, she's believing God for healing of COVID-19. Her husband, no, her husband is believing God for healing of COVID-19, excuse me. And she has recovered from COVID-19. So praise the Lord. We rejoice over that. And COVID-19 is dead. The spiritual life of it has been stripped and you are going, your husband's going to be recovered from it as well, Monica, in the name of Jesus. Catherine, I have several here in a row um, yeah. believing God for marriage. I have Virginia mm. from Grafton desires to be married. I have Jerry from Santa uh, uh, Santo Domingo believe in God for ministry and marriage. And then I have Cassandra believe in God for her daughter's marriage to be restored. Yeah. Marriage is God's idea. The Bible says what God pushed together, let no man tear apart. For That's whether right. you're believing God for a mate or you're believing God for restoration, go marriage is God's idea. So Father, in the name Thank of Jesus, Lord. we come into agreement for the right partners coming in, Thank for the right God. woman, for the right man coming in for a godly marriage that will reflect your love toward the church yes. and the church's love towards you. Mm -hmm. And Father, I thank you right now for the restoration and Cassandra's daughter's marriage in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you that what God has put together, absolutely no man can tear apart Amen. in Jesus' name. I have Curtis, believe in God for prayer, for strength and a closer relationship with God. You know, the Bible says that he'll give you the desires of your heart. And the greatest desire you can have is a desire for a deeper relationship with the Lord. Mm -hmm. So we're in agreement with you right now, Curtis, that that relationship is going deep and you're going to grow so uh, emphatically in love with the Lord Jesus Christ that nothing can soar of you and nothing can cause you to waver. I have Sue believe in God for wisdom for Mark's doctor. Right now he, they had this, they're operating in the spirit of wisdom and revelation in whatever area they need to operate in. I have Carolyn from Blairsville believe in God for healing for her husband and daughter-in-law and finances. And I have Carol. Uh, this is a testimony, actually. His neck was healed Glory in the God. name of Glory Jesus. Glory to God. You That's know, I have amazing. a couple of healing testimonies, too. So we just saw a neck was healed. This is Patricia from Spring. She was healed from the issue of blood. 
We just talked about that. We just Praise talked about Lord. that woman who determined in herself to expect her miracle and saw it manifest. So Patricia, we are rejoicing with you. You are a modern day miracle. And then I have Menelis from Philippi. Uh, the lump in front of his ear is gone. Glory. So we are rejoicing with you for that healing manifesting as well. Kurt, we're gonna go to you in the aisle. Thank you so much, uh, Catherine. Carl called in from Ohio. Uh, he was having challenges with his left knee. And this morning, while watching the program, it's totally cleared up. No more pain. Deborah called in and uh, praying for wisdom. John called in and asked for healing and deliverance from depression. You know, I, where the spirit of the Lord is, John, there is freedom and liberty. And I just want to say thank you for calling in. You know, our licensed prayer ministers are here to come in agreement with you, whatever addiction, whatever things you may be going through in your life, you know, there's, there's power in agreement. And I say this a lot that you shouldn't do life by yourself. Well, Kurt, you know, I don't have any friends or loved ones I can talk to. No, but maybe you have KCM, our licensed prayer ministers here that can come in agreement with you with whatever you are going through in your life, whether it be what may be small in some people's eyes to maybe big in your eyes. We want to agree. We want to bring our faith together with you and believe God for your miracle. And again, we want to encourage you, 877-281-6297. Or if you're joining us on the Victory Channel Facebook page, put your prayer request in there. There's a lot, a lot of people on there right now that will agree with you for your breakthrough. Back to you guys. Glory to God, glory to God. Well, like Kurt said, you know, it's amazing that we're able to come into agreement together on the program, but even when we go off the air, we want you to be equipped and empowered to succeed in your life, not just when we're here right. agreeing with you, but sure. also when you're in your own personal prayer time, when you're going about your day. So I wanna make you aware of our free digital download this morning. It's called God is in Control, and it's a message by Brother Copeland. Um, and you know, he says, it's all about walking in the confidence of God in troubled times. And you know, I think with what we're facing as a nation right now, as a globally right now, but also what you may be facing in your own life, it's important that right. you know who you are in Christ and you have an understanding and a solid foundation that God is in control. He's not worried because he's already made up his mind that he wants to bless you. So you can go to govictory.com slash morning prayer and you can download this for free. Um, and so I want you guys to just be able to take a look at this. It's two CDs. It's going to be awesome when you uh, have this as a resource for you. So um, I have Justin here from Fresno uh, believing uh, for his family, for freedom from strife and for wisdom. So we say that you have the mind of Christ, Justin, that strife has no place in your family and that your family is walking in harmony because we know that we are stronger together when we walk in unity with one another. I have Gerald from Shreveport believing for healing from all diseases. Amen. He bore all your diseases on the cross, Gerald. So we're believing uh, that. And then Audrey here from Brooklyn, New York is believing for e healing. Audrey, we say that you are healed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. You know, Catherine, I can't, uh, I have to say this. Uh, it's been on my spirit this whole program, and it even came up while we were praying beforehand. Yeah. I believe there's somebody that's coming across this program that's never heard of Kenneth Copeland Ministries, that's never heard of Victory Network, and this is your first time coming across, and you've never, you just stumbled upon it by accident, if you will. But it's not an accident. You're asking, right. is all, is healing for, it, it, would Jesus heal me? Would Jesus bless me? Is all this stuff for me? And the answer is simple. It's yes. Yes. The Bible says the promises of God are yes and amen. So every testimony that we've read, it can be a testimony for you as well. All you have to do is believe on the Lordship of Jesus and believe and receive everything that he died for you to have. That's right. And I want to hear from you, whoever you are. I just have that in my spirit very, very strongly. And we're in agreement with you in Jesus name. I also have Rosalind from Cleveland, believing God to be blessed with her own home and a new job. Right now we're believing God for the fullness of the blessing to manifest according to fifth, uh, Romans chapter chapter 15, that you will walk in the fullness of the blessing that includes your home and that includes your new job, Rosalind, in Jesus' name. I have Donna believing God for healing for her husband from cancer and that he will live and not die. We're in agreement with that. He will live and not die. And that cancer has to bow its name to the name of Jesus. Right. I have Lori from Philadelphia, believing God that the strongholds of migraines and headaches are broken today. Bible says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Those strongholds are being pulled down right. and broken and they'll never come back in your life again, Lori, in Jesus name. Glenda from Monterey, believing God for healing for her grandson. Your grandson 
his son is healed. They have Sharia from St. Paul believing God for deliverance for her daughter. In the name of Jesus, we are in agreement that your daughter is totally and completely delivered. One more, I have Sandy from Huntsville believing God for healing for her family. We're believing God for total and complete restoration in your family, Sandy. And I want to encourage you guys, 877-281-6297. We want to have the opportunity to come into agreement with you and believe with you and to see G Jesus manifest himself in your life. And if you have a testimony, we want to hear that too. Call the same number, 877-281-6297. Catherine. Glory to God, glory to God. And I want to encourage you, there may be, I know we get lots of uh, repeat we we'll have lots of people who call in on a daily basis or on a weekly basis, believe in God for things. And I want to encourage you at home, just because you don't see your miracle manifest right away, doesn't mean that your faith is not working. Faith is always working behind the scenes, even when we don't see the manifestation right away. So I want you to watch this clip as Sister Gloria talks about the importance of pa faith and patience Amen. working together until you have your breakthrough. Watch this. And sometimes now we want things to act to move so fast that we don't give it time to go from the root to somewhere visible. You, you see what I mean? I mean, it's, it's working. Your faith's working. If you're saying it in the name of Jesus, you're believing it. I'm telling you, if it's sickness, if it's money, if it's your children being saved, whatever it is, if you say it and you maintain your faith on it, you believe you receive it when you pray, things immediately began to happen. Wow, I love that clip by Sister Gloria. Say it. Whatever you are going through today, whether, like I said before, whether it be small or big, say it. Speak it out. Call our prayer ministers that are here to pray and come in agreement with you today. 877-281-6297. Dora called in, uh, asked for healing for her arm and shoulder. Uh, Rinda from Indianapolis called in, healing for her left leg. And Sylvia called in, healing for her new grandba ba grandbaby. Sylvia, I just want, I want to stop and just say, it says in the word, lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. You have the power. And you've called into our licensed prayer ministers that are here that came in agreement with you today. But I want to encourage you, to lay hands on your grandbaby. Worship creates an atmosphere. What is the worship? What is the atmosphere like in that home or that hospital room right now? I wanna encourage you, this is for you, Sylvia, connecting with you, you and me here right now, and maybe the, all those that are watching, this would resonate with you. Worship creates an atmosphere. And so I wanna encourage you to get worship music playing in that hospital room, in your home, and let worship create that atmosphere. And we believe, and we're standing with you, that your grandbaby is gonna be completely healed. Uh, Geraldine from Roanoke Rapids uh, called in healing restoration for her, her, her and her husband. There's power in agreement, uh, Geraldine. There's power in agreement. And we came in agreement with you this morning, and we're believing God for complete restoration for you and your husband. Janice called in healing from uh, depression this morning. Uh, Deborah called in from, uh, needs healing in her back. And so we speak healing over you guys today. God is the God of healing. And we speak that over you today. Catherine, back to you. Glory to God, glory to God. Well, I have Ochuku here from Queens Village believing for triplets. Praise that is awesome. We are believing with you. Our faith is with you. You know, the Bible talks about that children are blessings from the Lord. And so we're believing that triple blessing is coming to you, Achuku, yeah. in Jesus' name. Um, I have Tara here from Nigeria. Good morning, Nigeria. Thank you for watching, uh, believing for uh, healing in his body. So we're believing that you have that healing. You possess that healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Mary from Jacksonville, also believing for, he for healing. Mary, we call you healed. James from North Carolina believing for healing from wounds on his body. You know, Jesus' body was wounded so that your wounds could be made whole. So we are believing with you, James, for that. I also have Melissa here from Yates Center, Kansas, believing for her son's spiritual walk. So we believe that the Lord is manifesting himself to your son in the mighty name of Jesus, yes. that he's going to encounter the presence of the Holy Spirit, and he's going to begin to walk with the Lord closer than he ever has before. And then I want to end with a testimony.
testimony really quickly. Dorothy from Rocky Mount, she called a couple of weeks ago regarding healing in her right foot, and now there is no pain. Praise God. She is healed. We are Glory rejoicing with you. We want to remind you today, stay tuned for Victory Update at 5 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Central. Our special guest is going to be Regina Joloff. She is going to be uh, just ministering to us. I'm so excited to hear from her what she has to say. And then we also want to remind you this Sunday, EMIC Sunday service is going to be in the sanctuary June 7th. Um, you can go to EMIC.org slash latest info for more information. You do need to register for the 9 or 11, or you can always tune in with us virtually uh, at home. So we want to see you there. We look forward to connecting with you. And Holden, as we go off, would you pray sure. over these prayer requests? I'd be happy. Father, right now in the name Thank of you, Jesus, Lord. we come into agreement that everybody is healed, saved, and delivered mm -hmm. totally, completely in the name of Jesus. Thank you.